Hello, and here's my customary look from the air. First of all, I'm going to show you the boundary map so you get a sense of the shape of the plot and where the house lies within it. So we sort of come in closer. The nearest city is Coimbra, which is 37 minutes by road. As you can see, it's Portugal's third city. Uh, the land looks barren uh, at the moment, but it has just been strimmed and cleaned and I think it was like really hold back so the nearest uh, beach is an hour and seven which is Pagoda de Foz a lovely seaside city lots of beaches nearby and here are the details of the property bedrooms and bathrooms and sizes etc just to show that I'm listening to a few of the people that uh, comment on the channel so we're going to go and take a, uh, a close-ish look. On the left there, you can see there's little like, uh, almost like fake gypsy caravan things. Uh, they belong to the neighbour and they're rented out to tourists. Uh, I suppose there would be nothing stopping somebody doing exactly the same thing on this plot of land. Uh, the area is becoming ever more popular with tourists, but I mean, you would have to discuss this with the, with the local council. So as you can see, this, 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 this property is full of detail and full of character. It's very, very pretty. Uh, it's actually got two sort of carport, garagey things, uh, veranda. I'm going to take you a little bit along the, the boundary of the land. You see, it's like it, it's kind of banked up. I think it was probably a wall there uh, a long time ago, uh, but it's fallen into uh, disrepair. But I will... Um, it is worth having a look. Now here come from the other angle and we sweep in and oh my god you can actually see Sarah Keogh with a with a broom in her hand and, and she's not even playing Quidditch. Quite amazing. So uh, the, this end uh, veranda bit which obviously Sarah's going to show you. In fact uh, we start the video there in just a moment is a really lovely place to come and sit. Um, I can just imagine having a, the morning coffee in there or a glass of something nice and cold in the evening. So, I, I mean, I kind of got a little bit... I should have ended it here, perhaps, but I really got tempted to fly down this corridor. So uh, that, that, is, that is what we're going to do. And it does actually give a, a high-res view of the walls either size. Uh, better than, because my drone's got a higher resolution than my camera <laughs> at the moment. So uh, you do get a lovely view of the stonework. For me, they could be finished a little bit more with pointing. But, I mean, I know some people prefer the rough, bouldery look. For me, I was like... To smooth it out a little bit. Um, but, I mean, it looks delightful as it is. I mean, these lovely old pots outside really do set off that uh, beautiful doorway. And here's the second garage that I spoke about. It's used for storage more than now, but, it, but it's a perfectly serviceable garage. Uh, I'm going to take you uh, around the corner, avoid the bird, and you can see that this is the boundary wall. And that's the, I mean, the neighbour's house is quite a way away, but uh, these little caravans uh, sort of sit right on, the, uh, right on the edge of the boundary. There's all sort of privacy uh, settings put up. I spoke to the neighbour today, and um, he's very keen for, uh, for new neighbours because uh, the guys that own this house um, haven't been here for quite some time now well, well apart from the odd week or two here and then so anyway let's go and find Sarah hello well today we're in an absolutely beautiful location very peaceful my favorite style of property I am surrounded by trees and nature we are there's one neighbor on the other side it's very peaceful very very private yet location wise there's a river beach just five minutes down the road. Also, good cafes. We've just been to a cafe which won the first prize for the what 
I'm going to get it wrong. I think it was the bolo de rey, but I think it was a different roll. It's a cake, Portuguese cake. And so this house, we're looking at, it's the stone. The stone and the wood, the size of it, the footprint. It's unusual to find a stone house with a footprint this big. Um, this here, the outside seating area. Inside, I'll show you in a second. We've got three bedrooms, we've got a large kitchen lounge diner. There's no dining table in there. They obviously actually just use this most of the time. I guess in the winter you probably bring the table in. The house itself, it's just stunning. I mean, the... The woodwork, the archway, they're probably not the original stones around there because it probably didn't have this doorway. However, it looks gorgeous. The way it's been renovated has obviously been done with tender loving care. There are features throughout the whole property. Oh, and that breeze is nice because it's a bit humid today, I have to say. And so we've got lovely views. But it's mostly, you see out there, it's oaks. We've got oak trees. We're not in the middle of a eucalyptus forest. You look to the right, there's mountains in the distance. It's really, really nice. The land, okay, right now is plain. It's recently been strimmed and so it's been cared for. In fact, they've got a few tiny little oak trees in the land here. It is surprising how fast they grow. We've been at our place for four years and there's little tiny saplings that are now this big. So it's not doesn't take as long as you think it does. And what else can I say here? We've got modern details are in there is guttering on the property. And I mean, this is a fantastic place to sit with a cold drink. That's for sure. Or your morning coffee. Yeah, but our daughter in the distance there probably. It's a big oak tree there. The features, so we include, let's walk along the back, the back wall, the fact that they've picked the stones out and it's the same on the front of the property. Oh gosh, that's a bit deeper than I expected. So if you're coming, oh, which way do you look? So obviously you've got this long wall here, they've kept the features of the stone. But then if you turn to look at the house, up to the front door, it's completely stone. Again, the guttering runs all along, outside lights. The property really, really was done with love and care because I can just see in the detail in the type of hinges that have been used for the doors and the windows. It's really, oh, it's something we've missed here actually. There is, could either be, because you can drive up here. So, obviously this has just been used as a wood store, but that's, that's the garage as well. So if you're driving up with your shopping, because at the moment the main, Habitation is all on this top level. Underneath has not yet been put to habitation. So that would be your garage, so that you can park out of the sunshine. So we just do all the way around, just to this level, and then we pop back in. You can see that we've got, it's just completely private. And so there's the windows here, nice detailing. And then down there, we've got the windows that go to the cover area underneath which we'll show you in a minute that's nice just looking back okay and we'll go and have a look in i can see again there's drainage holes in the walls here so you're not going to get a problem with i'm talking about the exterior white wall with the exposed stone there's drainage holes all along the bottom so you're not going to have problem with water coming in through that fabulous door you, you're straight into the kitchen area uh, the most noticeable features here are this solid wooden counter, the lovely views you've got out of the window. And we've got a double sink here. The countertop's got plenty of space on it. Underneath the countertop, we've got a dishwasher and a washing machine. There's place to sit on, on the kitchen side. For, for eating, obviously they've got a couple of chairs there. Thinking about the layout a little bit, with the cooker being there, not really ideal. You could either insert it in here and put your oven underneath, or under those plugs there, there is actually plenty of space. If I was to come to the kitchen, it's not to find fault because the house is really, really beautiful. But if you just think about practicalities, if I was living here permanently, 
I'd probably want to be sort of cooking here because then you're interrupting. But you could also have here, quite easily, there's plenty of space between the two, a hog set into a wooden top like that with the oven underneath. And it gives you full access to the cupboard space you've got here. And you can still sit here. Paul thinks it's... But I think this is a nice place to sit. So it's still... It's very nicely done. Simple, but very, very effective. Usually the best way. So looking around the whole room, obviously I still... I think we've all done it, but the detail on the door is lovely. And again, we've got half of the room exposed stone. The fireplace in the corner there. Well, well, that'll just throw out loads of heat. So this will be lovely and warm. Even though it's got the high ceilings, that'll be plenty for this property. And there you've got the doorway out onto the veranda where you would spend rather a lot of time, I imagine. You've got a three-seater sofa in here. Another chair, you could get more furniture in if you wanted, but I think the whole essence of the property of its simplicity. Have you got the window? Yeah, you've done the view. Um, and again, you've got the old stone kept in the walls that aren't fully exposed. You've just left the odd ones sticking out, and it just it, like, it adds a nice bit of character, and you can see that kitchen countertop. It's very nice. I don't know what wood it is. Walnut, maybe? Paul might know. I'm guessing, though. I'm guessing. But it's a very, very nice space. And you could see, you know, the archway of the door just shows you the depth of the stone, as do all of the windows, really. Again, you see, this is what we didn't see from the outside. Look at the detail. Definite tender loving care. And some money was spent, invested in the, in the details of the property. If I close the door, then you've got a really nice doorway there. Moving on through, this is just, I'm not going to go in, it's a larder, but there is a wash basin at the end there, and well, I was going to say you could put your washing machine in there, not quite sure you'd have enough room. But I'm sure, you know, it's great to have all that storage because everyone needs it, really. The next room along is the bathroom. I think maybe you, if you come past me, I'll just open the door for you. So there you go. You have a look. In. Oh, <laughs> OK. And a nice shower, bidet, wash basin. And WC, of course, double shower. So that's nice. And the height. So you can see the fan there, so you're not going to get a problem with moisture. And the vaulted ceilings go throughout the entire property. It's not just part of it. The whole house has the vaulted ceilings. Here, you can see a nice big bedroom. They're all large. This is, this is what you call the main bedroom because it has the ensuite. So your double bed would fit in there. And then as Paul turns round, he can go into the ensuite bed bathroom, ensuite bedroom. No. Again, all it's all very simple and effective. All works beautifully. And again I'd say take in as you come watch your back. As you come around, yeah, exactly, taking your view and also the window sills. They're a type, again, I'm going to say slate, I might be wrong, but you can see that they've been cut. You're not going to have a water problem because the wall, when it's raining, it hits there. The grooves in the slate there, the water's going to run off. It's a very simplistic design, but very works very well. The hallway here, really wide. It's nice. The view back there, lovely. Obviously, the furniture they put in the property accentuates the style, and all together, it looks really nice. So if we turn around, and we've done the first 
master bedroom with the ensuite. And then you've got three doors in a row there. The first was the larder, the second was the bathroom, then we've got the master ensuite. You've got me hiding in the corner, and as you come round, you've got two more bedrooms on your right here. They're both double bedrooms. And again, it was all the wooden trim, the wooden doors, the wooden frames, the wooden floors, but everything is kept in a pale wood, so it doesn't feel dark at all. They've done a really, really nice job on this property. And again, you're keeping the detailing, so around the windows, half of the wall, exposed stone, and the rest. It's really nice to have them. Sometimes when you've just got complete exposed stone, it can be a bit too much. Just nice to have the feature. And as you come through to what's the last bedroom up here, as the view's lovely, the trees are really, really nice, aren't they? Yeah, they're lovely. Gorgeous. So, another double. Watch your back. And again, simple. Half the walls, or a quarter of the walls exposed. Plenty yeah. of room for a double. In fact, the, the bed was meant to come out sort of this way, and you'd sit in that bed and you'd have that view because the plugs for yeah. either side of the bed are here. So yeah. actually, if you come and stand where I am, that's where you'd have your coffee. I mean, they are proper doubles as well, right? Yes, so they're, they're nice big spaces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, stand here. I want, I want you to imagine having your cup of coffee. That's where I like about where I live at the moment. So, you know, you'd be sat literally about there and you'd be getting that big, lovely tree. That would give me joy in the morning. <laughs> We don't always seem to share the same. <laughs> I've usually been working two hours while you're having your coffee. Oh, boom, boom. Right, so this is essentially the upstairs. One, two, double bedrooms, lovely wide hallway. Again, the stone window sills, lots of light, ensuite bedroom, bathroom. Up to the beams. This was, yeah, that's the bathroom. This was the laundry. We've got the main door and then this large area here. It would be a joy to Ian. So now we've just left the front door of the property. Do you want to turn around and just get a last glimpse? I love that door. There you go. And then, as I said, we're pretty much blank canvas here. The land, you could do whatever you want. Um, there's a terrace that's been left here. I don't know whether that's been left to put an above ground pool on. It's clearly been flattened and left like that for a reason. And the driveway is put in, so this is sort of hardcore down here on top of the ground so that you can drive around up to the top. You can obviously see the electricity posts that were put in. I imagine this was a full renovation. You know, two houses here on their own, essentially. Would have been two old farmhouses. Now, Paul, would you like to just come further down here so you can get the full effect of the property? Because this is what we're looking at. And now you can see how big it is and how pretty it is. Now, as I said earlier, the underneath hasn't been put to habitation as yet, but you have got this large shaded area that you can sit and enjoy. There's a water tap there for the outside and there's two doors here. Again, we've got stone features, so the door at the end has the exposed stone around it. And then the door that we will go through at this end is the glass and wood. Again, the windows Paul's looking at, obviously, if it was a windy day, you'd shut them. 
or you keep them open to let a breeze come through. No. You ready to have a look in? Now this is this is just storage. But what you what it does show you, which is kind of handy or important to know more, is the fact I know we're entering the downstairs area. No. It's not been put to habitation. But what's very good to see is that it's been reinforced. So you've got concrete beams and block work here. Actually, are we underneath? No, the garage is further along. Okay, so no, it's reinforced through the stone. You've got the electrics down here. There's plugs in the walls. There's light switches. If the light looks a little bit strange, you've actually turned the lights off because it was making the camera flicker, so we're doing it in the dark and I'm following the light. <laughs> uh, this central room, there's three rooms. The big large one we just entered. This central one, which doesn't have a window, and then and it's a smaller room. I mean, maybe there was a plan for this to be a bathroom because the piping comes down here anyway. But going through to the end room, you have got light because you've got an exterior doorway and a small window. I mean, this would make a very nice office, hobby room. I'm thinking probably it's nice and cool. It is really cool. You've got your lights are set in the ceiling, so I'm not sure quite how they were planning on doing that. Maybe just a, a skim of render and paint it. But this would make a very nice space to work or hobby in and very cool in the summer. I think this middle room, if it was going to be turned into anything, would have been a bathroom. If you put a bathroom in down here... Or they may be not. I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to check with the owner on that one. I have to say, it's the first time I've been to this property. But um, there's, pl yes, there's plum plugs in the wall, sockets. And then this one is a really big space here. As we go back out from here, it's, of course, a very pretty looking underneath the property at that seating area. Now the light might go a bit funny. Hang on, no, you're all right actually. You okay? Yeah, there you go. You see, very nice space to be in. And then I guess if I put my shades on, I might as well take the opportunity to sum up the property and to remind you of the location because we're five minutes from River Beach and that is where we are going after which we're going to the very nice cafe for something to eat. So the property, unusual to find a house like this with these features and this big. Stone houses are like usually much smaller. Lovely, incredibly peaceful, incredibly private, but not too private because you've got a neighbor. They just look after each other's houses. You know, if someone goes away, the other one keeps an eye on it. So you're not isolated. It looks like there's no one around, but if you just go to the end of the lane, there are. So, we're five minutes from Sir Pins, we're in over to Poirot, which is not that far. Coimbra, I, I admit I haven't looked at the map. Coimbra's probably not more than half an hour, what do you reckon? Half yeah, an hour? I'll, I'll, I'll address that. In the, yeah, uh, I'm guessing half an hour to Coimbra. Numerous river beaches, and just really quite a nice place to be. So, I'm going to do my usual. I'm now remembering. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope someone comes along and buys this beautiful house because I don't understand why it's for sale still. Did I mention the guttering? The guttering's everywhere, so that's good. And please like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Bye-bye.